What do we have here? All my life I've wanted to know what it truly means to be a gal. What a lucky find. Greetings, fellow gal pal. My name is Christian, and I am here to tell you how to be the best gal you can be. Navigating galhood can be a tricky thing filled with temptation and doubts. I have declared it my job to help you through these trying times. First things first, you should never interrupt a man. That is completely undesirable. They have many contributions that we gals just aren't capable of. But it's okay to interrupt your fellow gal pals. We can always use the extra practice of being put down into a submissive role. Thanks, Bethlehem. It's also important to note, however, that we need to learn not to expect, desire, or accept appreciation. In this next segment, we are going to tell you some basic do's and don'ts of being a gal pal. First, you should always cover up your shoulders. You don't want to end up flashing a poor onlooker when you're on your way to Bible study or Whole Foods. Anything that distracts men from fully focusing on their worship is a no-go. That's a great point. In fact, I'm feeling a little too exposed in this outfit. Yes, you are looking a bit too promiscuous. I think a change in clothing would do you good. In fact, I encourage all our viewers to pause this video to take a moment to put on an extra layer of fabric so long as it does not reflect poor language or gang symbols. As you can see, my arms are more covered here, but I'm still bearing too much and bearing a resemblance to a lady of the night, nay, a street urchin as no woman who dresses like this should ever be deemed a lady. This neckline is absolutely plunging, and these buttons are far too flashy. Additionally, I do not wish to steal from a man's wardrobe, and this seems exactly like something that my brother-in-law would wear. Yes, this is much better. It may be 100 degrees, but my earthly sweat is a sacrifice I am willing to make to ensure that I don't feel the hotter temperatures down below for my sinning. Agreed. Now, I think I will share an absolute don't of being a gal pal. Don't ever, for any reason, do anything to anyone for any reason ever, no matter what, no matter where, or who, or who you're with, or where you are going, or where you've been, ever, for any reason whatsoever. This is just a general rule of thumb, sorry, thumbs are too flirtatious. I shouldn't have said that, this is just a general rule that you can apply to any situation in which you face conflict or doubt. I couldn't have said it better myself. We need to stop us gals from committing sins. For example, we highly recommend, nay, we command that you gals do not engage in any form of physical touching until you are married. That means no shaking hands. No hugging. And oh my goodness. Never kissing. Never ever kiss until marriage. We also strongly urge you to never wink at anyone or give anyone a thumbs up as this can be seen as you asking for. Well. Asking for the devil to put its spawn in your belly. Got it? Yes, I waited until marriage to kiss my husband. And it was definitely worth the wait. That special moment when we could finally feel that incredibly intimate connection was everything to us. Don't you agree, honey? Yes. He is just the sweetest but in a manly way. Well, I think that it would be best to end this video on that adorably wholesome note, so... Stay blessed and properly dressed, gal pals. XOXO gal described. What did I just watch? I'll teach you how to be a classic woman. Ah.